Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, your favorite learning channel where we all get to watch and learn. This is our history class and the topic of discussion today is organization of African unity and we'll get deeper into the challenges facing OAU. Now this is your history teacher, Roger Michira. Welcome all and let us learn. Now we have looked at uh, OAU as an organization. We started from the origin, the membership, the aims, the objectives, right? The structure, the performance, that is the achievements. And now today we are going to round up uh, OAU. Then we get, we get to look at the challenges facing OAU, that is Organization of African Unity. Now, let's get to learning. What do we expect by the end of the lesson class? We need to state the uh, challenges facing OAU. What are some of those challenges that are facing OAU? So we'll be able to outline some of those challenges. Now, one of the challenges that OAU as an organization faces is that um, African countries have different forms of government and ideologies. Now, most uh, of these states guard the independency, right? These also learn to uh, cooperate with their former colonial masters. What does that mean? Meaning, in Africa, we have got different states, right? These states have different ideologies, right? These uh, states still get to, uh, uh, get to, get to depend mostly on, on their colonial masters. For example, Kenya. Right, we get into to, to, to depend still on Britain. Talk of the aid, financial aid, right? All those support from uh, the colonial masters. Now, these are the ideologies that bring conflict in the in the in the organization of African unity. Meaning, they don't speak with one ideology, right? Then another an, another challenge is that, um, and also when when, when it talks of uh, ideologies, these again can be dated back to the you you you, you remember the two blocks in Nam, right? The communist and the capitalist, right? They, 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 they had different ideologies. Same to Kenya and Tanzania. Tanzania, they are, they are, they are living uh, ujamaa, right? That oneness, right? But in Kenya, it is ca it's a capitalist country, right? It's a capitalist country. So those are some of the ideologies that bring challenges in, uh, in OAU. And another challenge is that OAU member states were also members of other regional or inter international organizations. For example, Kenya is a member of Commonwealth, right? It is also a member of ESC. It is also a member of COMESA, right? Now you see, one of the one state belongs to different international organizations or regional blocks. Now this also derails the performance of OAU as an organization, meaning they get to base. They don't. They, 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 there is that uh, lack of uh, loyalty. Right, there is, uh, we, we call it divided loyalty, right? So a member state belongs to more than one regional block or international organization. And also class, there are border disputes, right? When you talk of border disputes, you can't fail to mention Somalia and Kenya, right? You can't fail to mention Libya and Sudan. You can't fail to mention Somalia and Ethiopia. So all over, there are border disputes. Right now, these are some of uh, that. Th that is another challenge that that has really affected OAU. Then also, class, there's uh, um, this partition of Africa through scramble divided the continent into colonial territories, which led to different groupings. What does that mean? Talk of the Francophone and the Anglophone. Those countries that were led by the Fr were colonized by the French, they speak French. Those countries that were colonized by the British, they speak English. Right? So these, our colonial masters divided us into groups. We, that's why we had the Francophone groups, the Francophone speaking uh, groups, and the Anglophone speaking groups. Then also, class, there is a lack of military force. OAU did not have its military. It does not recruit its military. Same as the UN, right? So they solely depend on the well-wishers, well, well, the, the well -wishers, meaning from these member states. Right when there's when there's a when there's a, a, a dispute, the OAU gets to meet and calls for help from these member states. And also, military coups is a, it is estimated that over 70, 70 African leaders were overthrown. This the military troop uh, coups. When you talk of military coups, you you, you can't fail to mention um, there's this in in West Africa. What is that? Congo, right? Brazzaville. You can't fail to mention that. You can't fail to mention uh, Uganda, right? 
I think that now those are the military coups. Now these military coups between be, uh, over 70 African leaders were overthrown in the first 25 years of independence beside many other abortive coups. Kenya, we had an abortive coup that didn't, it, it didn't sail through, right? In the year 1972, when, uh, when, uh, when, when Moy was a uh, president, so they wanted to uh, overthrow the government, right? These coups interrupt, uh, interrupted OAU plans and programs. Let us look at some of the, of the military coups. This is when the military takes over, right? This one was in Uganda under um, Obote, good. Mil uh, Milton Obote in Uganda. Look at that. The, 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 the army takes control of everything, right? Look at Somalia, the army takes over everything, good. Now, those are some of the challenges facing OAU as an organization. Now, for our assignment, can we, t can we get to study the countries that have experienced military coups. I've given an example of Kenya, but it was an abortive coup. Talk of uh, Uganda, right? Talk of Congo Brazzaville, right? And Mobutu Seseko, right? Those are some of the military coups. Now, can we get to state others that uh, experience the military coups for a reference and for a further study, get to evolve world history and government. And as always, keep tuned in to Elim TV, your favorite learning channel, where we all get to watch and learn. Stay tuned.